What is this thing? I just don't know, but I love it. and welcome to my channel. My name is Hermione for those of you who might be new here and my channel is all about showing you how to live your best life on a budget. So in today's video I wanted to show you some thrifted pieces that I found recently, kind of like a haul, but I didn't want it to just be a haul, I wanted it to be kind of helpful at the same time. So I'm going to show you guys some of the small alterations I'm going to make to these pieces and how I style them in my space to make them really match the theme of my bedroom and what I'm really going for. I wanted to do this to inspire you guys to go out there and find some really cool secondhand pieces because it's so much fun to actually go looking for pieces in charity shops and thrift stores and wherever. So without further ado I'm gonna jump into this massive bag of stuff that I have down here and then I'm gonna show you how I'm styling it up in my room. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is this plate. I've actually got a set of two of them. They cost one pound for the two plates and they're pink and white they've got these really nice floral designs all over them it's very dainty so you can only see it if you get really close I picked these up because I am thinking hopefully of moving out very soon so I need to decorate my kitchen right but in the meantime I think these would make lovely catch-all dishes for jewelry and other kind of things that I might have lying around my room I think they look really nice in Instagram pictures too so I picked these up with that in mind Next up is the item that I am most excited about, and let me see if I can show you this without reflecting anything. It's a massive round mirror. I picked this up in Oxfam the other day for £3.99. I'm obsessed with it, I've been looking for another round mirror for ages, they're super on trend at the moment, and they can be hard to find in charity shops, but they're also really expensive if you want to pick them up from a home store, so finding this was like the best thing ever and it's actually already got holes in it so I can drill it into the wall. I'm thinking this would make a lovely bathroom mirror if I am to move out hopefully sometime soon. So I am going to keep it for that. I'm not actually going to put this piece up in my room straight away but I think it would just look lovely on the wall by itself. It doesn't need any alterations. I just think it looks pretty fab. Oh that's my chin right there. Right. The next piece I have is very quirky and kind of weird and it's this. It's um, two metal hands, basically. <laughs> I thought this was kind of like a mug tree and it was a pound so I picked it up immediately because it just reminds me of something that you would find on Urban Outfitters or somewhere that just does really weird quirky stuff. And um, I brought it home and I asked my nan what the heck is this? And she seems to think that it's for drying your dish gloves on, which makes sense because there's a little bit of rust on it. So to counteract that, I am probably going to spray paint it or try and remove the rust, but I think it's so cool. And my plan for this was to hang my jewellery on it. I really think that if this was in Urban Outfitters as a jewellery stand or something, it would probably be like £30. No offence, Urban Outfitters. I love you, but... I picked this up for a pound so I'm very pleased with that. So the next pieces I want to show you I bought the other day in the Cancer Research store and they were having a massive everything must go sale, everything was a pound and then it was buy one get one free on homeware items so I picked up these two things for 50 pence each so I'm pretty pleased about that. The first thing is this terracotta, I think it's like a spoon, spatula holder, pot, but I'm using it for my cactus plant. I need to find the right kind of cactus for this though because all of my plants are too small and it's quite tall, but I mean I think it would look lovely in a kitchen with some wooden spoons and stuff like that in it too. And the other item was this little basket, this was 50 pence too. I gave this a really thorough clean because it wasn't super clean and now I store my pumpkins in it. I think it makes a nice little awesome decoration after autumn. Not quite sure what I'm going to put in it, but I love this kind of wicker basket effect at the moment, so I'm very pleased I found that one. This next piece is a little bit strange, and I feel like I preface most things with that disclaimer, but it's this ugly lampshade. Okay, bear with me. So this is one of those like 
70s lampshades and it was £2.50. They actually had two but the other one was not in as great condition so I just decided to pick up one. And I know it's not super pretty, I think some people could pull it off in one of those really nice and minimal mid-century homes, but I'm not sure about the colour of the wicker, I think it's a bit much, so what I'm going to do with this is spray paint it white completely and then just use it as my lampshade at the top of my ceiling. I think it would produce really cool patterns where it's got these little bits with the cutouts, I think that would look awesome. And yeah, I'm looking forward to spray painting this and putting it up. Oh, this one's wrapped. It feels like my birthday all over again. Oh yeah. I picked this frame up the other day. This was £2.99 and it's just wood and it's got this tree leafy design going on around it. Not a huge fan of the owl that's up here because quite frankly, petrified of owls. But other than that, I think the design is really cute. And I thought about getting some white paint and kind of dry brushing the outside edge so it looks more distressed, kind of whitewashed, but you can still see the wood a little bit as well. Not sure how that's going to go, but I'm looking forward to trying that out. Next up, I want to show you guys some fabric that I've picked up recently. So the first piece is this lovely blue and white. It's a jersey kind of fabric, so it's got a bit of a stretch to it. I think I'm not going to use this straight away, I'm either going to keep it for some DIYs or upholster a chair with it or something in the future, but I love it, it's huge and it's a perfect square. It would make a lovely throw if I just like hemmed the edges or put a kind of an underside on it to make it a bit thicker, so I might do something like that. But this is only £1.50 and it looks very 60s-ish. So. I'm pleased with that, I love this one. And then I also picked up another very 60s-ish style piece, let me get that. So this is a big bag of curtains. I picked this up at a car boot sale for a pound, and there's two curtains in here. They're these gorgeous blue flowery 60s, 70s inspired kind of print. I haven't taken them out of the bag yet to wash them, I've just kept them in here to protect them. But before I use them, I'm obviously going to wash them and might keep them as curtains, who knows, but I might DIY them, I'm not sure. At the moment they're going to stay in this bag, so I can't show you how I'm going to style them just yet, but I had to show you because I just thought they were so cool. I have another pot, this was just 30 pence, and I'm going to use it for my cactuses, but I had to show you because it was 30p and I think that's a pretty good deal, but it's just a plain white pot. So this um, fake orchid thing that I have going on here was £3, but I love the vase. It's this blue kind of aqua colour crackle effect vase, and I just think it's so pretty. I have a vase that looks just like this but bigger, and I was like, this would look so good next to it. So I had to pick this up. I think I'm going to take out the fake flower and use this for something else, or just maybe without anything in it, or maybe some like big eucalyptus twigs or something, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna remove this and put this on my shelf. And the last thing I have to show you is this wicker basket. It's kind of a basket, kind of a tray, and this only cost me 30p. Like, that's it. 30p. I couldn't not get it. I love the geometric detail around the side. I think it makes it look very different, and at the moment, I'm just kind of corralling some of my glasses that I have makeup brushes and things like that in. Please don't judge how dirty my makeup brushes are. That's my too clean pile that has been there for a while. Yeah. But that's what I'm doing at the moment. I think this would look really nice on a coffee table as well to put like remotes and things like that in. But I really like this. Very pleased I found it for 30p. And yeah, so that's all of the things I have to show you at the moment. I'm now surrounded by a sea of things and newspapers. So I'm going to get to tidying this up. But in the meantime, I want to ask you guys a question. In the comments below, let me know what you found recently secondhand that you're really pleased with. I would love to know. I'm really nosy. I love seeing what people find in the charity shops and thrift stores. So let me know that in the comments down below. And let me know if you like this style of video because I had a lot of fun and if you want to see more of these that would be awesome anyway thank you guys so much for watching have a great day and I'll see you next time bye